Here we are. We started this image last week and we focused in on that foliage, um, getting that nice texture and dimension. We actually added some, or I added some, I shouldn't say we, I added some to the tree. This week I'm going to focus in on this little girl. This is an image by My Favorite Things. It's their Pure Innocence line. Very simple images. I always am a little bit challenged by her hair because it's open and I can see the scalp, but I'm going to take care of that today. And then um, I am going to add a little bit of sky as well so that I don't have to have that blank white canvas um, behind her and I'm going to fade that out so I don't have to go all the way to the edges of my card. So we're going to start pretty simple today. Remember we're focusing in on simple color groups so all of these are going to be happy blending families um, and I'll talk you through that as I go and really simple at the most three color combinations in each area. Okay. So I will speed us up and talk you through. I'm going to start on her skin and I have a YR triple zero that's going to base that skin. She's pretty small so I'm going to do all the skin areas. I'm assuming since she's on a swing that it's warmer so her little legs are hanging out. YR zero one is going to be the color I'm shading with. I'm keeping the shading really simple have that kind of crescent shape coming around on that round head and then arms and legs just from the one side since they're cylinders. E93 is going to add some little cheeks and then I'm smoothing with the YR000. E21 is going to be the base of her hair. And notice I'm going to go ahead and fill that area in. I'm not paying attention to necessarily where the scalp line is. E23 is next, especially when I start flicking with my second color. I'm definitely turning my paper to really get an angle that's good for my hand and flicking. Less with the E25, which is the color I'm adding now. A little tiny bit of RV52 for her little heart clip. B91 is going to fill in her dress. She has a little denim dress on today, or chambray. B95, so it's going to be a lighter blue. Just adding some shading again from that underside, keeping the light source would be over to my right, to my right. Kind of coming around the front of her lap and smoothing that out with B91. I'm going to add a little more B95 into the shadows just to darken it one more time. Then I'm going to color in the swing. This is an E23 that's going to be the wood. And an E25, just to add a little bit of texture, I'm actually flicking some streaks on the wood just to show some texture. And I won't blend that at all. E E53 is going to color in the rope. And then E23, I'm just going down and hitting not every one of those little stripes where the rope kind of twists, but every other one or so randomly to give a little bit more depth to the rope. RV52 on her little shoes and RV55 just to add a touch of shading on them. I'm going to add a little of that darker pink on her little clip too. B000 and Colorless Blender are going to come in and do some sky. Sorry, it's B quadruple zero. It's got four zeros in there. And I realize that I'm out of ink, so I go refill my marker. And now I'm back and filling in the sky. Notice I did that Colorless Blender first, and then I'm going to use it again to fade that sky right into white. So I did Colorless Blender. And then the B with four zeros, and then the colorless blender again. And I do it kind of one section at a time, because keeping that ink wet on that technique is pretty important. So that completes this image. I would trim this down just a little bit. I would leave that faded edge and add her to a card. But some simple blending for today. Add it onto our foliage from last week. 
I hope you have a happy, colorful week. Thanks for joining me.